In this video, we're going to show you how to set different user accounts and delegate different user rights to them. Once you've logged into your DVR, go to the main menu, go to system, and then account on the left hand side. In this case, we already have it pulled up. If you happen to be the general menu, make sure you click on account. You'll see this page. Listed here on this DVR, there are the default user name and passwords. Um, whatever user name it has, the password is the same. And there, by default, all DVRs we ship out have two admin accounts, one's the uh, six number eights, one's the admin, and then two user accounts. You can create more user accounts and delete existing ones if you want. You can delete by simply clicking delete here, or you can modify um, the rights to those users. There are three different uh, sections here for authority. Monitor basically means viewing. Playback, which means video playback, recorded video from any channel that's been recorded. And system rights. I'm going to show you how to create a new user account by hitting add user here. And I'm going to give it the username user1. This will be a viewing only user. So under memo, I will say, I'll write something to remind myself what kind of user this was. And the password, I will just make it the same as the username. So user1. You confirm it on the right hand side by typing in the password again. Do not check reusable. Under group, unless you're creating a new admin user, you want to give rights to all the system um, functions. You can create a user group or a user one under the user group and uncheck all system functions. Once you do that, then this user will only have playback and viewing authority. Um, in this example, I'm going to basically show you where I am not giving the user any playback authority, but I'm letting them view specific cameras. So I'm going to uncheck all and select the two cameras I want to give the user access to. So now, just to recap, I've completely removed all access to any system function. I've removed all access to any video playback function, and I've only given viewing authority to channels one and two. And I specified a username and password. I confirmed the password here. I gave it a short description of something to remind myself what the user is all about. And I created or assigned this user to group user. So on the DVR, there are basically two kinds of groups, admin and user. If you're only creating one for viewing and playback, put it in the group user. I'm gonna hit save gives me a confirmation message and now lists in here um, the new user group I created. Now I'm going to log out to show as example what happens to this user if they're logged in, let's say remotely. Now let's say that person tries to do playback. They'll be prompted with another username password menu again because they don't have right to uh, go back and playback video. So if I type in my viewing only username and password, it's gonna tell you access denied. So I'm gonna get out of this menu. And even though on this DVR here, you can see that if there were cameras connected, you would see two cameras would light it up here, but cameras three to eight would not be because they have a little lock on them. And if there were cameras connected to this feed, they would display no video from channels three to eight and same way for a remote user as well. Um, this function allows you to basically create multiple users on our DVRs. Depending on the model of the DVR, there's a limit to how many users you can create but and also what kind of functions you can delegate um, so when i go into system and i try to go in here it's not letting me really access anything except the account section it just tells me i'm i'm a user and if i try to add a user it'll block me and say you've got to log in as administrator so i'm going to log out again i'm going to log in back as an admin user or the root user and give access by modifying the current user I created and give them some playback functionality for channel one. 
So I gave viewing functionality for one and two cameras and then playback for only channel one. Right, just make sure you actually save them. Let me just make sure I did. And I did. And log out. Logging back as the user I created. And I'm, this time when I go into playback, it will actually show me the playback menu, but see, it's not letting me select any other channel here, except for channel one, which I assigned to this user. I hope you find this video useful. Please be sure to like us on Facebook and on Google+. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.